welcome to a beautiful day in Rome. It took us a while to get here though. Yeah, our flight was delayed five hours this morning. <laughs> so we were just stuck at the airport waiting. But mm -hmm. now we're finally here. Yes, finally. We arrived at our guest house. Mm -hmm. It's not really a hotel, it's a guest house. In a neighborhood called Trastevere, which is a very beautiful neighborhood. If you look at pictures online. <laughs> But also, if you're here, but we haven't seen much yet. So. Yeah, no, we just got here. We kind of just let our bags blow up all over the place again, I as per usual. We, yeah, we've been here for 15 minutes, mm -hmm. if, if it's even that. And yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's everywhere. So yeah, this is our hotel room. We have a big bed and our little bed. Room. Yeah. That's all we need. Mm -hmm. It's simple, but it's all we need really. Yeah. And it wasn't too expensive. No. Either. And it's no. really clean. Uh, and this neighborhood is like the best neighborhood to be in if you want to go out at night mm -hmm. or have a few drinks or whatever. Because uh, there are a lot of restaurants and mm -hmm. cocktail bars in the area. We're talking too much. Let's go. Let's okay, go. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go explore <laughs> Rome. All right. First things first. Food. Food. We haven't eaten all day. But yeah, we're in Rome. We're in Italy. Italian food, we love Italian food. And as they say, when in Rome, act like the Romans. Mm -hmm. So we're doing every cliche Italian dish imaginable. So I made an entire list of the vegan options here in Rome, like traditional Roman dishes, like pizza and pasta and things like that. And our first thing that we are going to try is the pizza al taglio. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. So it turns out the place we wanted to go to is closed. <laughs> so we have to look for something else to eat right now. Okay. So I'm trying to look for another place that has a pizza al taglio because there are quite a few in Rome so we just have to find the spot. <laughs> That's good life advice. Find, find the, the spot. spot. <laughs> okay, change of plans. We are going to try something else first. We are going to try the traditional Roman artichoke. Fried artichoke. Yeah. So they fry the thing whole. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you can eat the leaves and everything. This restaurant actually uh, offers two options of the uh, artichoke. I have artichoke romano, and Sabrina has one which is fried. Mm. So it smells be really good. Interesting to taste the difference. Or, mm -hmm. yeah. This is day two in Rome. Uh, we're going to visit the most famous uh, monument in the entire city today, which Coliseum. is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spoiled the I surprise. Yeah. That's why. Um, I didn't know there was a build up. Want to do that again? <laughs> the Colosseum. What? <laughs> but first, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the thing here in Rome is there are two prices. You have one uh, if you want to sit at the table, which is more expensive, or one if you drink your coffee just at the bar real quick. So the prices of the coffee are regulated actually by the government. So it's really cheap to drink coffee here. Uh, when you drink it at the bar, I think it's like one euros or something. Yeah. But a coffee, when you uh, order a cafe, it's an espresso shop. So don't expect like a large Americano Starbucks sized yeah, no. coffee. It's just like a, a kick of caffeine to get you started for the day. When you sit at the table, they can basically charge you whatever yeah, they yeah, want that's extra. That's it's pretty cool to see like the people standing at the bar just drinking their espresso shot. It has this Italian vibe, I don't know. Yesterday before um, we went to bed, we watched like a little scene of Eat, Pray, Love where um, Julia Roberts tries to order a coffee. And it's like very busy and then this girl helps her out and she's like very loud and quick and you have to order and yeah. you have to push through the crowd and we were like no that's not how it's in real life it's a little bit exaggerated but for it's a, a bit second, romanticized but it's like it's kind of like that yeah. yeah for a second inside it was really busy and people were like really loud and 
yelling their orders, so it's kind of like that. But we're off to... <laughs> no, I ruined it. <laughs> we already did this, they know where we're going. Coliseum! Our first glimpse of the Coliseum! Look! What? <laughs> so cool! Guess what? We're early. What? That never happens. <laughs> Only five minutes, but we're early. Yeah. Anyways, we are doing a guided tour of the Colosseum of 45 minutes. When you uh, visit the Colosseum, it's always a, a combination ticket of the um, Roman Forum and the Pal Pal Palatine. Palatine. <laughs> Palatine. Okay. Palatine? Palatine? I don't know how you pronounce it. But yeah, they're like next to each other. We only have a guided tour in the Colosseum, but we get access to the Forum and the Palatine as well. I'm super excited to learn more about this. Yeah, exactly. It's so impressive. What? finished our 45 minute guided tour and in those 45 minutes we learned so much about the origin mm -hmm. and history yeah. of the Colosseum, how it was built and, and why it was built etc. And an important thing that, that we have to remember, yeah. that the guy told us that we had to remember, is that the original name is not Colosseum. No. Originally it was called Amphitheatro Flavio. Flavio. Colosseum was uh, the name given after the Roman Empire. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This place has, has so much history. It was used for gladiatorial fights for over 500 years. So That's insane. 500 crazy. years. Uh -huh. Alright, so we finished our visit to the Colosseum. We took some cute pics at the Colosseum. <laughs> and we're gonna head out to the Forum in a second. But first, we are at the Pizza Forum. I just stole Steve's joke. And what do they have at Pizza Farm? <laughs> pizza. They have pizza and Pizza Farm. So you can have the traditional Napolitana pizza. So that's the pizza marinara, which is only like dough and tomato sauce and some herbs. So the original pizza, there's no cheese or extra vegetables. Like it's just very basic. And we're gonna try that right now. We're about to leave the forum. Uh, unfortunately, we were a bit too late to get audio guide, so we just kind of walked around. Yeah, there's a lot of signs everywhere, and we did see a lot of cool well, ancient buildings and stuff, but I didn't really feel like I learned as much uh, that we did in the Colosseum. That gives us a reason to come back someday. And now we are going to some place called... No, it's not a place. It's a thing called the Keyhole. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the official name. It's just a hole in a wall, and when you look through it, you see something. But we'll show you something special. <laughs> yeah, but on the way there, uh, we should pass uh, the Circus Massimo, which was used in ancient times for <laughs> horse races and stuff like that. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but we'll show you that as well. So we're on our way to the keyhole, but we randomly came across the queue for the Boca La Verita, which was also on our list to do. How do you, how do you explain this? It's like an interactive set. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> interactive <set. laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what it is. It got famous because of a movie of Audrey Hepburn, I think. Literally, it is the mouth of truth. There's like a, a statue in the wall with a hole as a mouth. And you have to stick your hand inside. And supposedly, if you're a liar, your head will get chopped off. So, I guess we'll know today. Today is the day. Okay guys, moment of truth. Steve, are you a liar? Am I the only woman for you? Yes. <laughs> and here it is. The Circus Maximus behind us. Yeah. Apparently it's a park, you said? Yeah, these days it's a, it functions as a park. 
but back in the day, <laughs> back in the ancient <laughs> it to, times, in ancient times, it used to be, uh, yeah, like I said, it used to be used for uh, horse races and, and things like that. And there you have the queue. <laughs> it's obvious where we have to be. If you ever find yourself wondering where the tourist attraction is, <laughs> look for the queue. You know, just peeking through a keyhole, just your everyday activity. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just gonna insert a picture because it's actually really cool. We just finished a delicious dinner at Buddy's, which has a lot of vegan options. So if you ever find yourself in Rome and you're looking for a vegan place to have dinner, please consider Buddy's because yeah. it was very, very nice. Anyway, I think this is gonna be the end of this vlog. So stay tuned for the next one where we'll be visiting the Vatican City. That's it for today and we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. See you next time. Bye. Bye.